So quite a common question that I get with either members of the gym or my current clientele is how much protein someone should be eating. And obviously with that, we're all individuals. So we all have an individual amount that we will need to take. With that, obviously, there's a lot of contributing factors with it, whether it's age, gender, training history, all this good stuff. One big thing that I usually go on is someone's body weight. So if you look at someone who's a 200 pound individual, so nice round number, what we're looking for for an effective, when I say effective, it's something that's going to contribute to obviously increase muscle mass, obviously ensure that their metabolism is boosted, making sure that they're recovering from said workouts. So again, 200 pound individual, we look at this from a calculation. So you'd be looking anywhere between 0.7 to one gram per pound of body weight. So again, we've got 200, uh, 200 pound individual, one gram per pound of body weight is 200, 0.7 is around 150. With that being the case, again, what I generally do with people is I would recommend starting at the lowest amount possible. There's a couple of reasons for that. If you was to set, it go from you know eating only 50 grams of protein a day to 200 that's quite a lot obviously with that it might distress some of the gi trap and stuff like that and that's going to obviously affect what we're actually trying to do it's not going to make it as efficient you're not going to be able to digest it as well you're going to have stomach ache so again if we look at this 200 pound individual i would suggest them starting on a lower amount again such as 150 and as time goes on build up in terms of a time span what i would suggest is if they've manipulated other variables such as obviously the carbs, the training and stuff like that, I mean, they can't see progress, then maybe add in an extra 10 to 20 grams of protein. But again, that's something that, again, we will progressively increase because as we get more into our training, the more demand that we'll need, the more recovery strategies that we'll have to implement. So again, with that, protein can be scaled up. And more often than not, there's a big misconception that protein, and obviously in high amounts as well, can actually affect obviously your liver, you know, your kidneys or whatever. Again, that's that's a myth. You know, that that's that's something that will obviously you know not be the case. Again, when we look at protein, it's an easily digestible source. Obviously, depending on what you actually have, um, it will get filtrated obviously through the body. Obviously, the kidneys is obviously and the liver itself is a filtration system. Again, it will go through. Um, again, when you look at someone's blood levels and stuff and you know, uh, protein doesn't actually have an effect on that itself by ingesting it it's more so the protein breakdown in our body that actually affects that so obviously with this misconception and stuff it's nothing to worry about again as long as obviously you're eating a balanced diet you're getting a sufficient amount of protein you should be fine again i would recommend in terms of protein sources whey protein it's pretty easy there's nothing special about it purely because of the convenience Again, it's easy to smash out 30 grams of protein in a quick shake. Again, options such as chicken, which is quite protein dense. Again, beef, you know, steak, anything like that. Salmon, again, when you're looking obviously macronutrient breakdown. Obviously, people who are vegetarian or vegan, there's plenty of options these days, especially also with protein powders. Obviously, stuff like tofu, black bean pasta. Obviously, someone's vegetarian, eggs, milk, stuff like that. There's loads and loads and loads of options these days, and it's very easily accessible. Um, obviously, with that, again, in terms of obviously bulking it, you want to make sure that you're getting something that does digest well as well. Again, if, say, for example, you know, you're all, all the thing that you're eating is tofu all day and all for your protein source, again, you're going to get quite bad stomach ache with that. And also, with that, it's not a complete protein source, so make sure that you've got a variety. Of proteins within your diet whether you are vegan vegetarian or obviously eat what you like basically make sure there is a good balanced diet with that one so yeah there are my top tips for protein intake what's your favorite dish um if i was eating good it'd probably be turkey mince with potatoes uh, if not probably a bit nice steak <laughs> so.